Hello everyone, this is the second, no, third, I think, yeah, I think this is the third log of Sakura Beach. Um, this is actually turning out to be a pretty good visual novel, I guess. Um, so, uh, yeah, here we are, we, um, I think we just got um, some refreshments, I guess, at, uh, the, um, old juice, or the old shack that we used to go to back then, and, um, the, a couple topics were brought up during the talk between me, Seiji, and um, Momoko and Ayumi. But one topic was brought up where it kind of piqued interest, and that was the topic of do we have any crushes? Or mostly, do I have any crushes? And with Seiji being the kind of airhead or um, idiot of the bunch, um, <clears throat> he, he basically said he did not, and he has never really had a crush, except for space, but, you know, that's not a real person. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, and we did, um, remember one thing. Uh, we remembered that, um... Uh, that, um, I, or we didn't remember, we found out, uh, that Ayumi can't swim. And so, us being the great main character that we are, sarcastic voice if you can't tell that, <laughs> um, offered to help her to swim. Which, <laughs> good part on the main character. So, yeah, basically... Right now, we have gotten back to, I guess, our spot at the beach, and we're going to pick it up from here. So, so let's continue on with the dialogue. Back on the beach, Momoko hasn't given up on hounding me about crushes. So, do you think you'll ever be interested in girls, Seiji? Why do you keep asking about this? Why does my opinion about girls matter at all? I'm just curious, you know. We've known you so long, and there's still some things we can't work out about you. Oh, dear Ayumi. So you're just curious? That's why you want to know? Yes, just curious. Anyway, it's getting late. There's somewhat, there's somewhere that I want to show you to. Oh, what kind of place? Momoko seems excited at that idea. How do we know this is not a trap? It's obviously, it's obvious that this pervert intends to do something. Are you me? Uh, I'm not a pervert, more or less, but I would never do anything to you that you wouldn't oblige to. You or Momoko, so. For the sake of my pride, I will not be led astray by the likes of you. Alright then, I guess only Momoko wants to come? I didn't say I wanted- I didn't want to come. Oh dear. I just said that I wouldn't be misled by you. So you'll come, but if I have any perverse ideas, then you're gonna immediately take Momoko away? Okay. 
I'm sure that's the case, Ayumi. Maybe you're jealous that we would get to spend time together, all alone. Goodness, imagine all the things that could... Jeez. Ayumi slams one palm into Momoko's cheek. Ayumi. D don't throw such false acu accusations at me like that. Ow, 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 ow. A sniffle escapes from Momoko. Ayumi. Don't hit Momoko. Not nice. <laughs> Seiji, it hurts. Could you kiss it better? I think, it, I think you meant, could you kiss it to make it better? She turns her cheek towards me. That's it. <laughs> and here we go with Ayumi being all embarrassed. K kiss it better? But that means... The thought seems to be incomprehensible to her. Um, I... Another sif sniffle escapes from her. Please, Seiji. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me the airhead, that's the main character, is actually going to do it. It'll make me feel a lot better. Oh, jeez. The pose she is in right now just begs to have a kiss placed upon her cheek. Ah, oh, jeez. Looking at me with her dewy eyes. A very strong feeling of guilt watches over me. D d don't fall for her crocodile tears, you fool. She's trying to trick you. Ayumi grabs her by the face and stretches it one way and another. Ow, ow, ow. Ayumi, you're making it worse. Jeez. This is your punishment for lying to him. Accept it, villain. Oh, are we having a rival right now? Now he's going to have to kiss my whole face better. Translation much? I don't even know if this visual novel was translated. Oh dear. That's that's the only thing that will make me feel better now. Oh dear. Despite Ayumi's best efforts, Momoko manages to look at me with those dewy eyes again. Seiji, please help me. Kiss it all better. D y you are evil. Absolutely evil. Uh, yeah, kinda. <laughs> Ayumi quickly stops and pouts to herself. So, are you two going or not? <laughs> Completely. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Completely dodge that. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Momoko immediately recovers. Yep, just completely screwing with him. With me, more or less. I absolutely am. I can't wait. So they were crocodile tears. Yep, not exactly sure what that means, but I get the idea. I guess I can come. Don't expect me to bestow such generosity on you in the future. Okay. Oh, I have a choice again. Ensure Momoko is actually okay. Or don't fall for crocodile tears. Guys, guys. Oh no. I'm guessing one of them doesn't really pronounce which one to go with, but the other one really does. And 
I don't know the first one, but I'm pretty sure the second one would be more on Ayumi's side. Because I'm... Because by the way it's said, it looks like it's supposed to be saying, ensure Momoko is actually okay, meaning kiss her on the cheek. Kiss Momoko on the cheek. Or, don't fall for crocodile tears and back Ayumi up. Oh, guys. Guys. I don't know. Uh, I, I like Ayumi. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I like Ayumi. So, sorry, Momoko, but I'm going to have to not fall for your crocodile tears. Crocodile tears don't work, Momoko. It's always a worth worth a try. Yeah. I never thought you'd say something mature, Seiji. <laughs> yeah, I am mature. Either way, time to head off. Dots. More dots. More dots. And transition. Ooh, that was a new one. It was like from the top right to the bottom left, like, kind of like blinds almost. All of my unusual haunts around this place are still here. This little isolated cliff by the seaside. Oh, that's cool. We have the sunset in the background, coupled with looks like a cliffside but a little bit of rocks in the water and stuff like that that's kind of cool I like that I'm always a fan of those kind of like cliffsides it always gave the best view of the sunset yeah it's a beautiful view of the sunset it's one of my many special places I've always wanted to share it with someone too as I lead those two through the undergrowth, Ayumi complains the entire time. Explainable. Where are we even going, you fool? There's too many bugs here. You could have at least told me to get changed. That would have defeated the whole purpose. Well, moving on. Come on, this is fun. Isn't this like when we're... When we explored the forest around our house when we were little. Just because it was fun years ago doesn't mean it's fun now. Come on, Ayumi. Let loose a little bit. It's okay to be a bit immature now and then. Yeah, sure. For you, maybe. Mm -hmm. She's thrown so many hints in there. So many <laughs> Come on. Really? I'm a proud, dignified woman. Yes, you are. And please go out on a date with me. Would you? Would you? Moving on. And I won't change that for anything. Please don't. Oh, that's not what you were telling me earlier. Mm -hmm. Momoko, you have something to say? All that lovey-dovey talk about... No! Stop! Don't say it! I forbid you to talk about that. Jeez, whenever it's that strong. You've got to talk about it one day, you know. Then how about we talk when you were... No need for that. <laughs> anyway, are we close, Seiji? A little bickering going on like that. Almost there. We emerge at, at the cliffside at just the right moment. The sun looms. Let me repeat, repeat that. The sun looms deep in the horizon, painting the sky a fiery orange. It forms shimmers across the sea's surface, the dying light created, creating a spectacular show 
of color. So why are we here? Just look out there and see for yourself. She seems to go wide-eyed at the view. Wow, really a wide-eyed. Jeez. That's the first time I've seen her that wide-eyed. That is kind of cool. I like that little detail. It's a sight that always never ceased to amaze me when I was young. Both Ayumi and Momoko seem to go silent as they take in the view. This is a beautiful view, Seiji. I'm glad you like it. This is one of the places that I'd like to show you while we're here. I used to sit here and watch as the stars slowly appeared in the sky. Whenever I was here, I just forgot about my troubles for a while. So, I wanted to share it with both, with you both. Neither of them say anything in response. They seem to get lost in the moment, too. Even Ayumi doesn't have anything to say. Wow. We just sit there, enjoying the view. It really is beautiful here, Seiji. A fool you may be. But you do know some beautiful places. A younger me used to go exploring all the time. That's how I found this place. Maybe there's more places like this out here. We should go looking another day. Just like we used to do when we were younger. Remember when we found that waterfall? She seems to grow nostalgic as she looks out at the shifting ocean before her. I haven't forgotten any of it. I unfortunately don't know what they're talking about. It's funny how long... Excuse me. It's funny how long we've all been together, hasn't it? It's not something I really think about, but you're right. You just notice as the years pass by. Now, here we are. Even Ayumi begins to smile. There's just some kind of magic in this moment. As silly as you are, we've all never stopped having fun together. I hope that we can do this forever. Yeah, I hope so too. Forever, huh? That sounds pretty nice to me. As we wait, the stars begin to emerge from their hiding places. The orange of the sky gives way to a dark shade of blue. The moon looms in the distance, slowly rising above the ocean. As Momoko looks up into to the stars, Something seems to occur to her. There's something that we'd like to know, Seiji. Why do you like space so much? Good question. Real good question. <laughs> you haven't ever really talked about it. I don't really know why I'm so obsessed with space. Something about the idea of being part of something far bigger than myself. It's hard to put into words. For all of the petty problems on Earth, there is an entire universe out there which couldn't care less. It doesn't care about pollution, or war, or famine. Even when the last of us are gone, it will still be there. Jeez, getting real deep. Getting real flipping deep. Jeez. Eternal. Unchanging. Indifferent. It really puts things into a per perspective for me. Not that I'm saying that I don't matter. Everything I do today could have far-reaching consequences tomorrow. That's true. 
I might be the person who causes a chain of events, which could probably lead to the salvation of humanity, or something like that. The future cannot be predicted, but I just think that everyone has their part to play in the grand mechanisms of the universe. That's true. At least about the future part. Each of our actions will cause something to happen, no matter how grand or petty the result may be. That's true. I think there's a science term that kind of says the same thing, like um, uh, action for a reaction or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. I've been out of school for not even a year, and I can't remember back. <laughs> Crap. I'm getting old. It's easy to get cynical. Excuse me, let me start that over. <laughs> it's easy to get cynical about the consequences your choices have when pondering the universe. That's true. I mean, I may be a mere grain of sand in comparison to the universe. Perhaps even less than an atom. Okay. Went from a grain of sand to an atom. Do you realize how big of a grain of sand is to an atom? Jeez. It's like drastic change. But that does not mean that what I do has no meaning. Everything we do has meaning. Dude, you're getting freaking deep with this. Oh, man. I'm going to have to title this little log or something like that. You know, Caution. Tears may fall if you watch this or something like that. Good grief. Or not tears, but like just heartache or something like that. Gosh. Even the tiniest decision we make in this life can have far-reaching consequences. I imagine that Einstein's ancestors had no idea that their decisions would lead to the discovery of relativity. Don't even get into Einstein, because I cannot understand that man. Oops, I'm drifting off again. Yes, you are. Come back to Earth, please. I'd better answer their question quickly. And here we're back up. I guess I just see space as a big adventure filled with mysteries and all kinds of things. There's a planet made out of diamond out there. Imagine what other kinds of treasures you could find. Such as, if there's a planet made out of diamond, maybe there's one made out of gold out there. You see, that's why I love space. There could literally be anything out there in the void. You don't have to look outside Earth to find treasure, you know? It sounds like a childish fantasy. Like you just want to run out there pointing a laser gun at aliens. Well, don't know if aliens are real and which laser guns. The only kind of quote unquote laser gun is the ones you use for like laser tag. And even those aren't real laser guns. You know, to an extent. That sounds like fun. I'd love to do that. Fool. I mean, you've got to be a little bit... Um, what do you call it? Immature. You've got to be a little immature occasionally. It's fun to be immature occasionally. That's a bit harsh, I mean. That sounds like heaps of fun. Yeah. See, Momoko's on my side. Want to team up and have adventures across the galaxy, galaxy Seiji? <laughs> Sounds great to me. <laughs> Fine. Go have your space adventures or whatever. I prefer sophisticated entertainment for adults. Ah, uh, that sentence could be taken out of context. So. But what about the one you, the one show you always watch in the morning, where Ayumi quickly shoots her arm out and covers Momoko's mouth? 
Oh, jeez. Don't you dare say it. Aw, always trying to be so mature, Ayumi. What was that? Now, uh, every time Ayumi does something, I'm like, really, what's it? What did she do? What? What? I'm really curious. Gosh, it is not working for my mind. You're almost as adorable as Seiji. No, her adorableness. Adorableness? Eh. I just made up a new word, I think. Her cuteness or whatever. Her adorableness is way higher than me. Way higher than me. Way higher. Way. Almost. <laughs> the, don't call me adorable. All I can do is shrug at the nonsense happening in front of me. <laughs> it's getting late, you two. We should probably head back now. Sure. Can we come back here sometime? I want to watch the sunset with you again. W well, I wouldn't mind going here again with you. Glad to hear it. I mean, just say it. Just say it. You'd rather be here with me than be here than the two of us be here with Momoko. <laughs> oh man. We make our way back through the trail. Those two bicker the entire way. Yep. Sounds normal. Dots. More dots. More dots. Oh man. I'm thinking, should I go a little bit longer, or should I just stop it here? I mean, we're at 27 minutes, pretty much, and I guess new day, I guess? Oh, what the heck. I'll go on. Why not? I wake up late today. I have to say that it's been forever since I've gotten a good night's sleep. I've had to study really hard for the upcoming exams. Though I haven't told anyone yet, what I want to do is become an astrophysicist. An astrophysicist. What? Okay, I can understand the astro part being space, but what's a physicist again? I think I learned about it in school, but I can't remember what it is. Something to do with, like, thinking about stuff, right? I don't know, I can't remember. Since I love space so much, why not dedicate myself to understanding it? Okay, yeah. Although, the study material is pretty brutal, I would imagine. I'm glad I got a chance just to relax, though. It's going to be straight back to studying when I get back. That sucks. Now that I think about it, I haven't spent much time with either Ayumi or Momoko lately. Oh well, that's the point of this trip. And I'll have all the time in the world after exams to catch up with them. Dude. Since I've slept in late, I wonder if they're still here. Heading to their room, I make sure to knock as loudly as I can on the door. <laughs> So then nothing like what was it in the first step in the first log? So then nothing ha so then nothing like what happened in the first log happens again. All right. Is anyone is there anyone here? Hello? No answer. Just like last time. I make sure to knock. Knock. Then double knock. Alright, I'm certain that there's no one here now. So now is my chance to get back all the... Excuse me? So now's my chance to get back all of the snacks they stole earlier. Nice. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna walk in and be like, I don't know, half... I want to say half naked, but that already happened, so I doubt it's gonna happen again. At least one of them was. I best tread lightly, though. 
As I slowly open the door, the light blinds me for a moment. My vision clears and... Oh. F frick. just say how one of them was already half naked so it probably wouldn't happen again <sighs> guess what it's Ayumi's turn and I'm actually kind of happy but the main character isn't really and I can understand why Ayumi is really not happy <laughs> all right <clears throat> By the way, there's no sound. Ever since the transition was like five minutes ago, or somewhat like that, a few minutes ago, since the transition, no sound ha has been going on at all. So that's really kind of weird. Oh no. Ayumi stands in front of me with her back turned. From this angle... I find that I have a really clear view of her panties. Great. A pair of cute pink ones. Oh uh, yeah, that's right, it's showing the picture. Pink? Amy wears pink? Okay. I mean, I can see her wearing somewhat girly ones, but pink? Okay. I find that my tongue starts fumbling over itself. Ah, crap. She slowly bends over to pick something up. Oh, no. Where did I put my swimsuit? It has to be around here somewhere. What, is she like half deaf or something? I knocked hard. And she didn't hear it? And she still doesn't recognize me. Or know that I'm here. She gets on all fours as she searches the ground. Creating a rather interesting pose from my perspective. Oh dear. Maybe I could wear that other pair today. Oh dear. But would Seiji like something so s shameless? Mm -hmm. Even if I can't see her face, I know she's blushing. She hasn't turned around yet. Well, that's weird, because in the picture that they're showing right now, behind the text, she's obviously turned around to where you see most of her side and a little bit of her back and she is obviously turned around and facing the camera I guess which would be facing the main character but I guess that's for later pur purposes I don't know maybe she doesn't know I'm here close the door and she'll never she turns back looking towards the door. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Maybe I left it over there. I swear, Momoko leaves the room as such a trailing off. She begins to realize what ha what's happening. Yeah, she's going to pull that, you know, thinks I'm a pervert and throw something out the door for thinking I'm trying to peek on her, which is totally not the case. She slowly stands up, her face a mixture of shock and anger. <laughs> Say, gee. Her voice is more of a monstrous growl than speech. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. She's gonna kill me. She's definitely gonna kill me. You had best explain yourself right now. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It, was, it wasn't on purpose. How's this not on purpose? You didn't even knock before you entered the room. She desperately tries to cover herself up. What did you see? What did you see? I I didn't see anything. That's when I noticed something terrible. Ayumi looks down at herself in horror. Oh crap. 
Oh no. Don't tell me I'm wearing this. Her panties begin to slide down her legs. Oh shoot. Are we gonna see something? I hope not. For a surreal moment, it feels like I'm staring into the sun. This this is something that will be permanently seared under my brain. Oh no. Did we uh or at least did Seiji uh Oh how do I put this? Um Did Seiji uh see um it Oh gosh. I um I No No She lets out a wail of despair. This is bad. Really bad. I have to close the door before she You aren't getting away that easily, you disgusting pervert Divine punishment She throws a pillow at me. This doesn't seem like a terrible punishment. It's only a pillow, right? It shouldn't... <laughs> Jeez. Holy crap. As it hits me in the face, I suddenly remember something. These, girl throws... These girls throw pillows really hard. Yeah, if I remember right, Momoko, whenever we accidentally walked in on her... Oh dear. Uh, I believe she threw the, f she threw one pillow, the first pillow she threw. It ended up missing us and hitting the wall. In which it stuck into the wall, making kind of a crater-like, um, form in the wall. And then the second one she threw at us, hit us, and knocked us completely out. And yeah, I'm guessing that Ayumi probably knocked us out first time. <laughs> I swear I hear something snap in my neck as I'm blown out of the room. Don't ever speak to me again! Oh wow. The door, sh the door slams shut as my vision fades into darkness. Ow. Dots. More dots. More dots. Transition. Oh man. 30. Uh, eh. When I wake up, I feel like I remember seeing something that I shouldn't have. Yeah. What could it possibly have been? Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God he doesn't remember. I walked into their room and then something happened. Good morning, Seiji. Oh, Momoko. It's funny how you were sleeping out here. You must have been really tired. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, I was really tired, yeah. Anything happened while I was gone? Nope. 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 <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I can remember. Gosh. Speaking of which, Ayumi emerges from their room when she hears Momoko. Good, good, mo good morning, Momoko. Are you two hiding something from me? No, no. Why? No. No, nothing happened. Nothing at all. That's those three statements there implies you, yeah, you hiding something, yeah. I don't remember. Ayumi flashes me a withering look. Oh, jeez. What, what's she mad about now? Dude! I almost am wishing he remembers, so then he knows why she's so mad. Okay, I'll believe you. What would you like to do today, Seiji? 
Maybe we could go get ice cream. What are we two? Or you could show me some more of your secret places. Just you and me. <laughs> Hold on! You're forgetting about me! He's not going anywhere if I'm not going. Hmm? What was that? He's not going anywhere if I'm not going. Ah, Amy. I understand you're a sin today, but... Come on. You've got to be truthful sooner or later. I have to keep an eye on him, after all. Why do you have to? There's no telling what this pervert would do if he were left alone. <laughs> Jeez. I'm glad you think so highly of me. <laughs> I'm just stating the truth. Well... It wasn't done out of perverseness, I will say that. Oh? Still, pretend, still pretending that you aren't going for your own reasons, Ayumi? Ayumi seems to grow red as she, and looks as she's about to faint. Gosh, yeah. You alright, Ayumi? Jeez. P please don't suggest su such absurd things. I'm just going to change the subject. Or, excuse me. I'm just going to change the subject. So, which beach would you like to visit today? I think somewhere with waves would be would be nice for a change. I agree. Some more fun. And with more people. I know just the beach to visit then. We're so lucky to have you as a guide, Seiji. Yeah. Even though you you're making a habit of being a pervert. Ayumi? I am not a pervert, alright? At least I don't think I am. I mean, yeah, the main character, you know, Seiji doesn't remember it, but yeah, we, I know we did accidentally peek on you, but it wasn't intentional. Peeked in, trying, hopefully, you know, no one was there going to, what was it, grab our snacks or something that you stole last night or probably something like that. And you happen to be. Um, changing or something like that. Took you a minute to realize we were accidentally looking through, but still. Doesn't your door have a lock? Doesn't your door have a lock, though? If you don't want me walking in there by mistake, you could just use that. That's not the point, idiot. <laughs> he has a point, though. In order for them to stop being peeked upon, just lock a gosh dang door. Good grief. Oh my gosh. We shouldn't have to lock the door in the first place. True, but... <laughs> yeah. It's not that big of a deal to do it. That's also besides the point. Jeez. Oh, Momoko just ignores her, th her though. So, Seiji, what would you like to do when we get back? I have no idea. The hotel does have a pool, you know. It might be good to go there and try to teach Ayumi how to swim. Oh, yeah, that's right. We haven't been teaching her much. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, Ayumi just got that embarrassed look on her face in which, oh, that is so gosh dang cute. Oh, that is so cute. E you idiot, the lessons you gave me yesterday will be more than enough. Oh, so we did teach her yesterday? Okay. So you're telling me that you've learned how to swim in just a day? Yeah, even I strongly doubt that. Come on, Ayumi. Wouldn't you like to have some one-on-one -on -one time with Seiji? Yes, please. Yes, please. 
one on one time. Um, that just sounds so. so. so what? Nothing, you fool. What is with fool? I understand it's probably something like baka or something like that, which in Japanese translates to idiot, but. Cool, really? It's <laughs> a weird one. Well, we can't do it. We can't do that anytime. We can do that anytime you want, Ayumi. If you actually do want to do it. Well, I wouldn't want to go to the pool with you. Or to the pool alone. There might be dangerous people there after all. I have to keep an eye on you. So basically, if you're going, if you're going, we have to go. Um, but if we go, you're going anyway, just to keep an eye on us. Good excuse. The only people I saw swimming there were was a group of girls. Girls, don't tell me that you've been perfing on them too. Gosh. <laughs> No! Gosh, I'm not a pervert. I don't think. I mean, I will readily admit if I am a pervert or not, but I'm admitting I'm not a pervert. What haven't you been telling us, Seiji? How well do you know these girls? Uh, oh. I have a feeling Momoko's a little mad. She has a smile on her face, but I have a feeling she's a little mad. I don't know them at all. I just saw them swimming in there when I last looked. And when did you last look? This morning. Seiji, I know you're becoming an adult and all, but you really shouldn't perv on strangers like that. Momoko? Not you two. Alright. Ayumi, it's normal. But Mom Mom Momoko, if you... <sighs> Not cool. It should at least be someone you know. So are you saying if I perv on you two, that's fine? <laughs> just asking. Just asking. Not gonna do anything, but just asking. I don't think that's a good idea either. Typical. You only care about what you what you get punished for it. But when you only care when you get punished for it. You're a villain of the worst sort, Seiji. I am not a villain. Crying out loud. Villains will be punished sooner or later. Yeah, if not sooner than later, but yeah. Why do you talk like a superhero? <laughs> yeah, I know. Wasn't she just? Wasn't, weren't you just um, ripping on us for being immature? And you're kind of acting like an like an immature little girl wanting to be a superhero. Okay. Oh, it's from her face in a blur. <laughs> Jeez. Ayumi shoulder tackles Momoko before she can finish speaking. Shoulder tackles? <laughs> S sorry, I bumped into you. You okay, Momoko? <laughs> oh my, I don't think she'll wake up until we get to the beach. Wow, did she flat out knock her out? <laughs> How very unfortunate. You don't, you don't look very apologetic about it. <laughs> of course I'm sorry, you stupid fool. Oh boy. Stupid fool is redundant. It is. Stupid fool, yeah, that is redundant. <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> Shut up and help me carry her. Okay. 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 That's fine. Okay. Dots. More dots. Even more dots. 
All right, guys. Um, I did not mean for it to be over 50 minutes long, but I guess it is. So, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so, uh, so far... Oh, man, what did we do today? Um, we went out with Momoko and Ayumi to one of our special places, which was a cliffside, I believe, if I remember right, with the, with the sunset. And boy, was that sunset beautiful. Oh, man. That sunset was beautiful. Um, but, uh, we got back, and next morning, which happened to be this morning, Yeah, it was Ayumi's turn to get peeked on. Obviously by accident, but the thing is that I th it, she must have been a little bit airheaded or something like that. Because Momoko caught it quick. I mean, she may have been facing the door whenever it happened, but she got on quick. Whereas Ayumi didn't catch on for like the next 30 seconds or something like that. And then she finally looks at the door, and even then she doesn't figure it out until a few seconds after looking at the door and she finally realizes oh Seiji's there at the door looking in crap I'm in my door wait why is he look so yeah <laughs> oh man I mean the little they, picture they put up there in which I wish I would have Taking a screenshot, I just realized. Oh, I could have taken a screenshot of that. Why didn't I take a screenshot? I may go back just to... Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go back, actually. Um, I'm going to go back... Excuse me. I'm going to save in a different slot. And, um... So then I can replay the last save and get to that spot and <laughs> and uh um get that screenshot i mean <laughs> yeah i know it's kind of pervy for me to do oh well, wait a minute actually uh mm, yeah I, yeah i'm already saving but yeah so anyway this has been what, log three, I think. And these are going rather long, rather good, but they're a little longer than what I liked. Than you know. So um yeah, I hope that next time. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention. I you mean knock Momoko the crap out? I mean, come on. I know. Ayumi kind of want, kind of wanted to quiet her down, but you don't have to knock Momoko out, Ayumi. Good grief! Jeez. Ah oh, man. So anyway, that's it for me. It is currently well. No matter what time it is, I am tired. So I may go to bed after this. But, I don't know. It's like, almost 1 o'clock. And I've been tired for like an hour or so far. An hour, probably hour and a half, something like that. So, yeah. That is the end of this little log. Of Sakura Beach. Um... I guess I will see you guys. Mm, I guess whenever I see you guys. <laughs> um, I guess in this next log or something like that. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and I've got to work out. On, I've got to work on my outros. I've got to work on my intros, too. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah, I guess I will see you guys later. I will stop stalling, and I'm going to be redundant one more time. I will see you guys later. All right?
keep on being good. See you guys.